Not that long ago, I had one of the most terrifying experiences of my life, and I need help figuring out what happened to me. The night it happened started out really good. I was spending time at my girlfriend's house. I met her through a good friend, and we were really clicking. She lived in a little remodeled bungalow out in the woods near this beautiful lake. We both had a really great time, but the relationship was still new, and I knew I had to be at work early the next day, so I said my goodbyes and started home. It was like 3 a.m. or something. It was the middle of summer, and the day had been sweltering, but all the heat of the day had left, and the air was sweet and humid. I rode with my windows rolled down, and the radio playing the kind of weird stuff that they could only play in the wee hours of the morning. Despite being dead tired, I was feeling pretty great. It was foggy out, probably due to the lake. The road I was on was narrow and full of twists and turns. On each side of the road were these huge pine trees that were so thick and tall you almost couldn't see the sky. There was no moon that I could remember, so I had only my headlights to light up the night. Not quite five minutes into my 45-minute drive, I saw the first one. It was a female mannequin, completely nude, standing on the side of the road. It had a dark shoulder-length wig on and bright red lipstick. It was standing with one hand up, almost like it was hitchhiking. Its head was angled just right so that it looked like it was staring at my car as I came toward it. I remember staring at it, frowning at it, but passing it by without much thought. I remembered thinking that either some kids left it there as a joke or that someone dumped it there. It was weird, but I didn't give it much thought. I kept driving, and not five minutes later went by, and I saw another one. The second one was a male mannequin sitting on a large rock on the same side of the road that the last one was on. This mannequin was nude, and its hands were over its face. The way it was sitting, I remember thinking that I didn't know that mannequins could be arranged in that shape. At this point, I decided it was just some teenagers setting some weird shit up on the roadside in the hopes of freaking people out. I rolled my eyes and kept going. I was expecting the next one, so I wasn't surprised when I saw it. It was two mannequins, exactly the same as the two I'd seen before, but this time together. The brunette and blonde male mannequin were together on the side of the road. The man was sitting down with his legs stretched out, and the woman was sitting in his lap, her arms looped around his neck. He was looking up at her, and she seemed to be looking down at him. As my headlights hit them full on, it looked like their heads slowly turned to look at me. That was impossible, but that was what it looked like. My eyes were probably the size of dinner plates as I went by. I was careful not to step on the brake or the gas, and I glided on by. I white-knuckled the steering wheel and tried to tamp down on the panic clawing up my throat. Whatever good feelings I was floating on earlier in the night were completely gone now. I kept trying to assure myself that this was the crescendo of the joke that the other two mannequins were setting up. You see the first two, and they're weird but normal, and then you see the two together, and they have mirrors or something on their heads that make it look like they turn to look at you as they go by. I was congratulating myself on figuring out the trick by the time I saw them again. As I drove forward at a cautious 35 miles per hour, the mannequins appeared in my headlights. My car is old, and the headlights have never been replaced. The plastic covering the bulbs is old and dirty, so the yellow light was only able to penetrate the fog and darkness by a couple dozen feet. I had only a few seconds to see them, but this is what I remember. They were both standing there, holding hands in the center of the road. The man had his free hand thrown up over his eyes, and the woman had her hand held out straight in front of her, with her palm flat in the universal gesture for stop. That was all I saw before I hit them. I'll admit, I didn't touch the brakes. I was so terrified that once I saw them, I'd already decided I wasn't going to stop no matter what. 
They smacked into my front bumper with a hollow crack. I probably hit them right at the knees. They popped up into the air and over my windshield like hollow plastic dolls, not people. I remember that distinctly. They flew like they didn't have weight or heft, and the sound as I hit them was definitely of something brittle and tough, not soft and wet like flesh. These weren't people, I am absolutely sure of that. As they went over the top of my car, I turned to look over my shoulder through the weir window to watch them fly back down to the asphalt. Because of that, I didn't have the chance to wrench the wheel as the road came to a sharp turn just past where the mannequins had been standing. My car went down over the edge of the road and into the ditch, the front of my car making a sick crunching sound as it hit the loamy forest floor. I sat in my car, totally stunned. My hands were shaking, my breath was coming fast, and my head was spinning. I wasn't sure what I'd just seen or what had just happened. Once I was able to get my breath under control, I looked in my rearview mirror at the road behind me. I was sort of expecting the mannequins to not be there for the whole thing to have been just a figment of my imagination. But they were there, and they were moving. The man was sitting up, his legs shattered at the knees. The woman was standing on one leg, her other leg shattered almost all the way to the hip. She was reaching down to help the man up. Their movements were jerky and inhuman, like their limbs weren't working all that well. Whatever control I'd had over my breathing disappeared after that. My car was still running somehow, so I put it in reverse and I revved hard. My wheels spun, kicking up turf and mud. I checked my rearview mirror again, and now the mannequins were looking at me, their blank black eyes watching my wheels spin uselessly against the dirt. I switched the car to drive in a desperate attempt to get out of the ditch, and it worked. My car rocked forward further into the woods. As soon as I was out of the rut I'd made, I cut the wheel and reversed again, this time jumping up over the ditch and back onto the road. I looked out my left side window, and they were standing there looking at me, the woman now holding the man's body against her own. They didn't make any move toward me, and I didn't make any motion towards them. I threw my car into drive, and I drove away from them with all the speed I could manage. I didn't go to work the next day. I had to take my car to the shop, since the front was totally crumpled. I made up a lie about hitting a deer to explain the damage. I told my girlfriend the same thing. We ended up breaking up, because I wouldn't go to her house again. I'm coming to you guys to ask you what I saw. Despite it being late and getting into an accident, I'm sure that what I saw was real and not a hallucination or a dream. What were those things? What did they want? I'm hardly sleeping now, and I haven't driven again at night.